All right. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It's your buddy, Mr. G. Today, we are going to talk about infographics. Infographics and the elements of art. So we're going to use the infographic technique to portray the elements of art. So let's get started here. So we got to know two things. First of all, what's an infographic? Infographics are visual representation, representation of an idea or information intended to quickly and clearly present information. It's a visual symbol that tells us something. Uh, it uses pictures and information to deliver with or without the use of typography. Um, so infographics are all around us. They describe services, options, and warn us of dangers and hazards. And you might say to yourself, I don't think I've ever seen an infographic, Mr. G. But if you've ever seen this symbol to say there's Wi-Fi about, or maybe this symbol that says that there's a dining option available, or even this symbol that says, oh, danger, you could cut yourself, or maybe this symbol that says some tools are required. These are all examples of infographics. Infographics are also used a lot in instructions and presentations, so such as this one here that's talking about global warming, or this one here to the right that's talking about uh, the steps to hair donation for chemotherapy patients. These are examples of presentations with infographics. All right, so now we know what the infographics are. They're visual symbols that tell us something. Now we're gonna talk about and review the elements of art. We've already went through them, but we'll go through them really quickly here. First of all, you've got line. Line is just a point that moves through space, such as the examples we have here. If you take a line and you come around and enclose it, it becomes a shape. You have both organic shapes, such as, you know, beans and cats and leaves and ants and so on and so forth and geometric shapes such as the ones that are flashing here such as circles squares and rectangles value as we have in the visual here value is the quality of dark to light and everything in between and it is just that simple Form, form is the quality of three-dimensionality that can either be implied or it can be actual. Color, the main takeaway from color, we want to remember that it's made of three things. You have hue, what color is it? Red, blue, green, yellow, etc. The saturation, all the way from dull gray, all up to full intensity, and the value, all the way from dark, all the way up to light. Texture. Texture is the surface quality of something. Um, is it hairy? Is it furry? Is it cracked? Is it sticky? Is it bumpy? Is it smooth? Etc. That again can either be implied or actual. Space. Space is the uh, quality of depth in a piece of art um, or the positive and negative of it. Okay, so if you have an object that is a positive uh, and the negative is the negative space, and if you have implied space, you have an implied foreground, middle ground, and background. Typography. You will not find typography in every list of elements of art. I like to include it. It is the visual representation of language, and we use it quite a bit in artwork. All right, so now we've reviewed what an infographic is. We have reviewed the elements of art. Now your project is to create your own infographics for the elements of the art, or elements of art. All right, we're going to do that in five easy steps. We're going to define the elements. We are going to plan. We're going to lay out our elements of art, infographics. Then we're going to put a finish on them, and then we're going to drop some color in them. All right, so step one, I said we're going to define each one. How do I define those? You can go right through this video that I'm putting forth right here and pull your definitions right from here. That would be fine. You just need to clearly show me that you have an understanding of what each element of art is. Next, you're going to plan out. You're going to get out your sketchbook, and you're going to start uh, doing some sketches and drawings. When I think of line, I think of pencils and pens for each element of art and infographic, you're going to use the actual word and you're going to create an infographic that goes along with it. So just as I've got here, I've got the word line and I've got a pencil that's drawing a little loop-de-loops about and around the word line. That's how I'm going to do that. Color, I'm going to have like a paint can that's kind of spilling over color all over all my word color um, and so on and so forth. So after I've got all my sketches done, I will start laying those out. I'm going to use uh, some careful marks and intentional uh, marks. I got my ruler and I got a mechanical pencil here. Um, but if you don't have a ruler, you can use any kind of straight edge, you know, edge of a shoe or a shoe box or 
uh, cereal box or a book, anything with straight edges to do. You don't have to do a whole lot of measuring here. All right, after I got it all laid out, I'm going to do finish here. In this case, I'm using just a ballpoint pen. I'm doing a nice black line around it. Uh, you can really finish in any technique that you would like. Clean up any unnecessary marks we have with a nice eraser. And then finally, you're going to drop some color in these. These are going to be full color here. So I'm doing a quick color study in this picture here. I recommend it if you're uh, doing any kind of blending or moving of colors. And here we have my finished product of my line infographic. You can see the word line. I've got some color in it. And I've got the actual infographic of the pencil going about and around my word line. All right. So you're going to continue with all five of these steps for each element of art. Okay. You can lay these out really however you want. Uh, if you want to do one per page, uh, I wouldn't go any smaller than four per page. There's eight of them, so try not to go any smaller than two pages with four each so for each of the apps for you, give you the total of eight. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. Thank you very much, and you have a super duper day.